And just for fun, I thought I would throw a whole bunch more BBs in this filter can. Look at that. They are being held up perfectly fine. That is awesome. <laughs> What you just saw seemed pretty obvious, right? You get a bunch of steel BBs in an oil filter can, slap a super strong magnet on the side, and bam, the BBs are sucked in. The BBs, of course, represent tiny metal particles that may be floating around in your oil. These metal particles may be so small that the actual filter media within your oil filter may not be able to catch them. And if that happens, the presumption is that they end up recirculating within your engine, causing microscopic damage that over time can turn into catastrophic damage. Here I have an oil filter that I cut open. This filter had a filter magnet installed its whole life. I changed the oil and this filter about six months ago, set it aside and completely forgot about it. Knowing that this had a filter magnet installed its whole life, I still wanted to cut it open and inspect. And upon inspection, we can see a perfect outline of where the magnets used to be installed on this filter. And of course that outline is caused by metal particles. Tiny, microscopic metal particles. These are precisely those particles that are so small they don't get caught by the filter media within the oil filter. In this case, the magnet did its job. It caught and filtered out these metal particles to keep them from recirculating within my engine. If I take this spare neodymium magnet that I had laying around and rub it on the outside of the filter, let's see what happens. Look at that. You can see the outline of this new magnet affecting those metal particles. This indeed does does show you that this is ferrous material, metal containing iron, or in other words, just magnetic material floating around in that oil. As I know some of you have already pointed out in the comments below, I am not a metallurgist or a scientist for that matter. More of a common sense-ist. And my common sense tells me that every engine slowly wears out over time, some faster than others as indicated by the amount of wear metals within your oil. And thus, I'm also told by my common sense to use the very best oil I can, but more importantly, to change it on time at regular intervals. And of course, with every single oil change, an oil filter change is a must. Sounds silly to say that, I know, but I have heard of people who think you can change the oil filter every other oil change. No, they're like eight bucks, just change the filter. Back to the magnets and my common sense. If our engines are wearing out slowly over time and they're releasing microscopic metal shavings in the oil and those shavings are so small that the oil filter media cannot catch them, how in the world are we supposed to catch them? Well, with a magnet, of course. That is as long as the debris is magnetic. For example, the magnet is not gonna catch particles of aluminum. So we all know magnets work, right? They aren't a theory. We can personally observe the magnet attracting magnetic material. And if magnets most certainly attract magnetic material, and there just so happens to be magnetic material floating around in our engine oil, doesn't it make sense to utilize a magnet to catch this material? I mean, they already do this in our diffs, our transpans, and a lot of manufacturers already implement magnets in the oil drain plugs. In my first couple of videos regarding magnets and oil filters, I was just using small neodymium magnets. While they probably worked somewhat, they definitely weren't the best option. And I have these other random magnets laying around that are neodymium and very strong, but still probably aren't the best option. But there is one company that's been in the oil filter magnet business for a while now. That company is aptly named FilterMag. So I decided to email them and ask them for a few samples of their product along with their filter cutter. And they agreed. Full disclosure here. The product was supplied to me at no cost by FilterMag, but I'm not being paid by them. It's not a sponsored video. It's a simple real world test. So definitely a big thank you to FilterMag for sending me the product, but let's cut open those filters and see if they caught anything. Before we check some real world examples, let's cut open a new filter, put some BBs inside and slap a magnet on it. Using this specialized filter cutter by FilterMag, I'm able to quickly and easily cut open this filter and remove the guts. Now that we have a clean, brand new oil filter can, let's throw some BBs in. Now let's slap the filter mag on and see what happens. Holy smokes. Now, if this filter mag can grab all those giant BBs, I don't think it'll have any problem at all grabbing all those tiny particles of metal, you know, provided that they're magnetic, of course, that it's designed to catch. 
To test that theory, let's cut open two well-used oil filters that have thousands of miles on them. This first filter is off my 1995 GMC Suburban. It's an AC Delco PF52, and it has a filter mag installed. Sliding the magnet down a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. Just gonna place the filter mag cutter there, tighten it down just a little bit, and start spinning the filter. Put a little more pressure on the cutter, continue turning the filter. A little more pressure on the cutter, and I can hear it cracking open. Here we go. There we go. Let's release the cutter carefully. This is sharp now. Let's open the top. Let's pull out the filter media. And you can see the stamped steel spring is still in the bottom there. Okay, so did we get anything? Let's look inside. Wow, look at that. Looking inside, we can see that we definitely caught metallic magnetic material. This is iron, possibly from piston rings or bearings or my engine block. Either way, this stuff could not be caught by the filter media, but is now being caught by the magnet. It's kind of crazy because on one hand, I'm sitting here thinking, yes, the magnet caught material. But on the other hand, I'm thinking, Wow, the magnet caught material, which means my engine is wearing out slowly but surely. But I guess every engine is subject to the same exact thing. So I'm gonna try to move this magnet around just so we can see this material move around with it. Wow, look at that. Definitely magnetic material being caught and it's Basically means that the magnet is doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so this last filter is from my 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. We're going to do the same thing and cut it open, first removing this gasket, adjusting the cutter, snugging it down. Now, I did have to remove the magnet because there was no way to take this filter out of the engine compartment without removing the magnet first. And here is the filter mag that was installed on this filter. The problem is the clearances were so tight, I could not take the filter off without first removing the filter mag. So that is something to note that sometimes the clearances are so tight around your oil filter that it may be impossible to get a filter mag on there. Uh, so just double check the clearances that you have. In my case, I can slap the filter mag on the side of the filter, and then when I'm changing the oil like I did today, I can just pull the filter mag off, remove the filter. Even with that magnet removed, we should still see evidence of caught material. And taking a look inside this filter, we do see the evidence. It is slowly migrating down into the oil there, but you can see right where the filter mag was installed and all of the particles that it caught. Okay, so I went ahead and reattached the filter mag. If you look inside, you can really get a sense for the materials that these magnets are catching. Because the filter mag is so incredibly powerful and I can't move it around while it's attached to the oil filter housing, I went and grabbed one of my spare magnets. I'm gonna move this magnet around just so we can see the material moving around with it. And there you can see the outline of the magnet as I move it. If you take a look inside, I just wiped some of that material. I'm gonna do it again. That right there is exactly what's being caught. As I stated earlier, the common sense is what's working for me here. Magnets catch magnetic material. If your filter can't catch all the crud in your oil, slap a magnet on the side and maybe it'll catch the rest. Whether you want to use some old magnets you already have laying around or these specialized magnets by filter mag is up to you. But the bottom line for me is they seem to work great. Well, what do you all think? Start the discussion down in the comments section below. Well, hey, if you like this video, you know what to do to that thumbs up button. And also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of my next upload. And as always, more information down in the description below, including associate links to all the products that you may have seen in this video. I'm Jimmy, this is One Road, and I will see you in the next one.